Fool Force. This is Captain Fool reporting for another episode of Road Rage. And for those of you unfamiliar with Road Rage since beginning, some new subscribers lately, by the way, welcome. Thanks for joining the Frugal Force. Uh, these are more off the cuff. They're just conversational. So feel free to please, by all means, feel free to leave a comment down below about your thoughts. That's what these are for. These are for spreading conversation. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. And so today's topic I want to talk about is Dana Swartz. Yeah, probably some people knew it's coming. But I might be taking a pretty different spin on this than what you've heard. So please stick with me on this. So Dana Swartz recently did a cheap shot at South Park and white men in general. Pretty much neglecting that, you know, women can be impacted too. <laughs> but evidently only white men are to blame for any kind of wrong thing. And if you're not familiar with Dana Schwartz, she's the writer for the She-Hulk series. Uh, it's going to be coming on the Disney Channel. So, yes, yeah, so get ready for that feminine blast of She-Hulk. You know, well, She-Hulk can be a feminist, powerful character. Absolutely. Not necessarily anything wrong with that. But with a writer like her behind it, I already fear for the show and what it's going to be. It's going to be all white men are evil. So, anyway, she makes this South Park blast. And then she gets some flashback. There's some clack clap back from it, which is expected when you make a comment. But then she then turns around and plays the victim. Oh, these mean people are coming at me. But what she fails to reflect on is a few things. Usually something like this is somewhat tolerated. It's how much of it that you do. And she's had a, a spewing of anti, especially anti-white men, stuff coming out. As you've seen, if you paid attention to my Twitter feed, I put out one where pretty much she didn't want any white male books in kids' libraries for 20 years. What? <laughs> Just ridiculous. But I wanted, that's what I want to talk about, is the seeds to that. I'm not attacking the person. I, I, I question the actions of the person. And that's what I'm doing here. And remember, as I said before, uh, I also want to tie in some things for finance and that. So you're definitely going to get that in this video. So let's talk about that. Dana, Dana, Dana. What happened to this person to give this person that view? As you recall previously in another video, I said one of the things that you need to be successful is desire. That's wonderful. And she might have that desire to be successful. But the other one is faith and faith in yourself. Faith that you can actually do it. And there's where I think the, the hit is here, by the way, since this is road rage, I'm walking. So if I'm breathing a little heavy, it's because I walk at a fast pace to get that heart rate up and going. So anyway, I tend to wonder, did she not have faith in yourself? Because you find that, how do I put this? If you belong in certain groups long enough, some of those things rub off on you. Uh, if you believe, if you say something enough times, people, including yourself, will start believing it. And she's been having a history now of saying pretty much that white men are bad, white men are holding you down, white men are the problem. Could it be that she doesn't have faith in herself to compete with the white male counterpart? Did she, did she fail at some part, lost a job to a white male? She got passed over by a white male, dumped by a white male boyfriend, and was now jaded? And that's jading all of her thoughts, because the more you repeat it, the more you're going to believe it. I think she believes her own crap now. I believe this whole spew she does, she believes, or she heard it from her professors or whatever, beat down with it and indoctrinized in it, and now believes that's the problem. It is easier to point and blame other things for your lack of success rather than using your desire, hard work, and determination, and your faith and confidence in yourself to achieve it. And that's my main point here. Don't be like her. No matter what that roadblock is, do not let it become the source of your failure. Do not let it become the source of your drive. It's not a positive drive. Positive drive should be to actually achieve something. She probably there for also does not have a goal of achievement down. If you have a goal of achievement down, everything should be to strive to get to that goal, not these things that, that you believe are blocking that goal. Sure, you can combat those, but where is it that the statement of maybe, I'm gonna be the best writer at She-Hulk has ever had, I'm gonna produce or write the best superhero television show you've ever seen? No, it's white men are the problem, and South Park is bad, because blah, 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 because it doesn't agree with me on everything. And once again, white 
people are not attacking her. They're clapping back. They're sharing their views because that's something that happens. We call that cause and effect. You can't sit there and tell everybody to listen to you, listen to you, have a statement and expect nothing to come back. And then here's another little bit of hypocrisy. Every male, particularly if it's a white knight, white white male sitting there and touting her message she's all like yeah thank you but if you have anything counter to that and you say you know that's baloney automatically you are attacking and you are whatever phobonist sexist and everything else you know right now see some people might be listening just getting ready to click that thumbs down he's a sexist no my heroes one of them is my mother. My mother was a fantastic woman. When things did not go her way, she could have easily blamed the man. She could have blamed the system. But no, she worked hard. She did what she needed to do to be successful. She kept her eye on the prize. She had a desire. She had a faith in herself, and she had a confidence that if she worked hard and did what she needed to do, she could achieve what she wanted. And she did. She got up in those mornings, wrote down, this is what I want. And you know what? She worked for it and kept that drive, and she earned it. That taught me my desire and my drive, because we grew up absolutely poor. It would have been very easy for me to blame the establishment, to pull a Bernie. Oh, we're down to government. No, it's up to me to do something about it. Absolutely. I could have blamed every other source. Well, I couldn't afford the luxuries. Blah, blah, blah. No. Make a goal. My goal was to live better than that. My goal was to not have my family go through what I did when I was that age. Am I blaming my mother for the situation? Absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not pointing blame. I'm just saying I don't want that for my family. I want mine to be better. Am I perfect? No. Am I going to make failures? Yes. But when I make those failures, I embrace them. I learn from them. What my first thought is, what could I have done to make this situation better? Not who can I blame. Oh, white women were to blame. No, that would be ridiculous. And once again, notice that. You blame a gender. Who's the real sexist here? Hmm, interesting. And women, you should be unhappy with her as well. Because what the message she is spreading is white men are holding you down, that you cannot be successful. You cannot compete with the white man. You can't write as good as the white man. And that's malarkey. Yes, there are certain physical traits and things, absolutely, martial arts and all that things, that say contrary to certain things. That's understandable, absolutely. But when it comes to things like writing and things of that nature, or a lot of things, most things in general, don't let anything stop you. There's amazing female artists out there that I'm seeing in this community, like the Nerd Wonder, Sashi, all kinds of amazing artwork that I put up against any man. Absolutely. And vice versa, men don't let the women hold you down. Because it's amazing. We're not allowed to have a say anymore because of our gender. Who is the sexist? Or because of the color of our skin, we're not allowed to. Wait a minute. Who's the racist? She is both. Dana is both a racist and a sexist based on her comments. Is she really fully that way? I hope not. But if you look at the, the types of comments she's been consistently making on Twitter, it does tend to lead towards that. I hope that's not the case. I hope she's misinformed and maybe she's heard it so many times, these things about the white man that's ingrained in her brain where her brain doesn't function properly to look at the reality of the situation. And that's my thing. Get that which what you want. That use that desire we talked about. Have faith in that and build your confidence. And one of the best ways to build confidence, in my opinion, is write it down. If you don't have things written down, we tend to not do it. This goes for you, Dana, too. Write it down. What do you want to be successful at? Maybe writing something good. Right? I'm hoping to eat a good She-Hulk. I'm really doubting it now. What I recommend, too, then, is repeating it to yourself. At least every morning when you get up and every night when you go to bed. Keeping that, that desire, keeping that statement in your head fresh. Build your confidence on it. Build your faith that you can do it on it. That will help keep you on target. Because if you don't, it's not going to get done. I know that. My, you know, the, at one point in my life, uh, uh, our band was working on two albums at the same time. Probably should have focused on one. And, you know, I didn't write down, this is going to be the due date. We're going to have everything done. And the can kept getting kicked. We'd write songs and replace songs in the album with this and that. And eventually the album never got released, either one of them. Neither. Because why? We didn't have a date to hold ourselves accountable to have it done. 
So, you know, try to have a date if you can, too. Because by this date, I have this many pages written. Yeah, I know I need to take that one for my comic book as well. <laughs> but you have those attainable goals. I have other goals that I do do this with. And it helps keep you on focus and on track. And do not, do not let these lame excuses about blaming genders, blaming colors of skin, blaming financial woe and things on the lack of your success. Those should be events. Those should be change agents that help create your drive and desire and make it even stronger. You know, I've been hit with a lot of family affliction that's cost me thousands of dollars the last few months. I mean, we're talking uh, about $23,000 in the last three months out of my pocket that I wasn't ready for. Now, granted, I would have been completely probably decimated if I didn't have a financial plan in the first place. But I've always lived by this financial plan of building wealth for a rainy day and things. And that, did it hurt? Absolutely hurt. Hurt a lot financially. And it's going to take a long time to build that back and those funds, the rainy day funds and things like that. But once again, I could have used this as a, oh, wow, is me moment. No. What it is, it's a triggering moment to say, okay, I did good. What can I do better to make sure if something like this ever happens again, I'm even better prepared for it? See, well, that's the difference. It's not, oh, well, the insurance companies suck, and it's all the insurance's fault. We need to do something. Sure, the insurance companies suck, and they're not wonderful in these, this regard, and, and these cases as well as the state governments of how they protect certain classes of people. But then again, I don't depend on the government or those things to protect me and, and keep my family going. I know that. I need to do that myself. See? There's the thing. It's so easy to pull a Bernie or something and just blame everything else and put it on their hands. Because here's the thing. The more power you give your opposition, the more control they have over you. The more Dana says, well, white men need to be removed because blah, 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 blah. What she's really saying is, I can't compete. They have power over me. Instead of saying, I want to be such a good writer, everyone looks at me at the top. It doesn't matter what my gender is. See what I'm saying there? That's what we need. That's what we need drive. That's what makes success. I'm very interested. I like. I think I want to see someone. I sit down and talk to Sweetcast, Clint there, and see what gave him his desire to make his book downcast, and what gave him the drive, and how, what stumbles he had in the way, and what got in his way. But how did he keep it as a desire there to make it, and then to submit it to Alterna and get approved, and look at all those roadblocks that were in his way. But what did he do to keep that drive? Going. What did he do when he had adversary to, to not blame just that and, and to make his own path, to blaze his own path? We can do that too. You can do that too. You can write your comic book. You can draw your comic book. You can make that video game because we have some good, good gamers here. You could beat that game that you're struggling at. Just because you suck at it now doesn't mean you suck at it forever. You just suck at it now. You're not good Yet, that word is key, yet you create a practice regimen. You know, you learn from your mistakes. You don't just keep repeating the same thing. Oh, okay, maybe I need to learn to throw in a few more sweep kicks. I need to get better air defense when that guy's coming at me in a one-on-one -on -one fighting game or whatever it may be. The goal, the main thing of this one is, is don't be like Dana. Don't blame other things. Step up. Use your desire. Use your faith and confidence and make it happen. All right, well, there's my long rant. I hope <laughs> I hope at least it was a bit inspiring. Wow, I did really go long this time. I appreciate, like, for example, my desire to get in better shape. So this is one of the reasons I tie to these things, right? Works out great. But leave your views down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I really do want to hear them. Also, if you feel yourself in a position to help this channel, we do have a Patreon. We have Subscribestar, even an area for one-time donation, and we have Frugal Force merch. Any of those things help this channel. Without you and your support, these would not be possible. I kid you not. This is the books I review and things is because of you guys, especially in times like now, where I've just been really hit financially, working two jobs just to, to make sure my stepfather is okay, which should, by the way, be okay. Once again, I'm not trying to get any money for that. Uh, by the end of this month, I should have all that taken care of, uh, everything for him on the right track and good. So... You know, that's my burden to bear, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's making me stronger. But you have those things to help the channel, and those go to the channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your time, and until next time, keep it full.